All right, what's up, guys? So moving on uh, with um, with the next chapter, we're going to uh, the first section we're going to cover is the uh, <clears throat> the derivative function. And uh, before we get into this section, I would uh, highly recommend going over um, the slope of tangent lesson. Even go through my videos for slope of tangent, look at the examples because this lesson is going to be honestly 70 to 80 percent the same as that other lesson. So there's going to be a lot of carryover. So make sure you review that before uh, before watching this lesson. So let's uh, let's do a little brief review here. So before we mentioned that the slope. of the tangent of f of x, some function f of x, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. Now, since, uh, since we're using this formula a lot, we're finding the slope of tangent a lot in this, uh, in this course, they, uh, they decided to give it a name. And this whole thing right here is basically called the derivative. of f of x the derivative. So instead of saying let's find let's find the slope of the tangent of f of x, they just say let's find the derivative of f of x. Now, the derivative of f of x, <clears throat> it could take uh, different types of notation. So, let's uh, let's write a bunch of uh, equivalencies here. So basically the derivative of f of x. You can also see this notated by f of prime x. So whenever you see this, this just means the derivative of f of x. The derivative can also be shown as like a y apostrophe. You might also see something like this. So all of these notations here, they just mean the derivative of f of x. And what does this mean? Uh, just in general, so it's the slope of tangent of f of x. If you also recall to our rate of change um, section, it's also called the instantaneous rate of change or the um, the speed more specifically if you get a position and time function the speed and velocity of a position time function position versus time function And all of these things are basically found by the difference quotient. So taking the limit as h goes to 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So all of these things here, they're all equal. They're all equal. So you, in the chapter, they might, uh, they might, they might ask you um, one of these five things. And all of them are found by the formula we've been using in chapter one, our difference quotient. 